We have lots of ties in Sonoma County. I was actually born in Santa Rosa. My wife and I have been married 39 years, and her great-grandfather made wine for Italian Swiss Colony. He was one of the original winemakers and uh, helped put Sonoma County and the wine country on the map. We had the fortunate pleasure of opening in the middle of the pandemic. We are very fortunate that we have 40 acres here. So with the pandemic, it was great to be outdoors. We're uh, trying to build a multi-generational winery. We're really fortunate that our daughter moved back from New York to join our business. And uh, she's really the chief operating officer running the winery day in, day out. Our little granddaughter, or her daughter, Isla Rose, is uh, very active in the tasting room, uh, running around. I'm very excited about this weekend's Sonoma Epicurean. This is the third anniversary. We've been a winery partner for all three years. Last year was highlighting uh, breast cancer. This year is highlighting colon rectal cancer. The V Foundation is funding the leading researchers in America for leading edge or breakthrough uh, types of research. 100% of the proceeds go to uh, the cost, which isn't the case with a lot of charities. We initially got involved with the V Foundation because my wife lost her mother to pancreatic cancer about 30 years ago. My sister-in-law had leukemia. My other sister had thyroid cancer. Last year, we found out that my daughter was diagnosed with breast cancer, which was quite a shock for a 32-year-old with a two-year-old. April 10th of 2023, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer um, that traveled to my lymph nodes. The journey started uh, the year prior when in November I felt a lump in my armpit that was not normal. A couple of the doctors were like, you're young, you have nothing to worry about. And then finally when I got a doctor to make an appointment to get a mammogram done, um, that day I got a mammogram, an ultrasound, and a biopsy all in one day. And then two days later was diagnosed. I finished a clinical trial. I then moved to 20 weeks of chemotherapy, and I just had my six week post-op from a double mastectomy with reconstruction, and in two weeks I begin uh, six and a half weeks of radiation. I feel stronger than I have in a very long time and hopeful for the future. Three weeks before I was diagnosed, we hosted the Sonoma Epicurean dinner on our property. My husband and I were in attendance. My parents then the next day went to the clinical talks and the seminar was about the iSpy clinical trial for breast cancer. And then three weeks later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. We reached out to Sonoma Epicurean and the Bee Foundation team, and I was actually put in the clinical trial that they spoke about. Without that clinical trial, I don't know if I would have the same outcome. I think the V Foundation um, has done wonderful things for cancer. Everyone knows someone, either in their family or friends, that have been touched by cancer. And I think it's important for us to do breakthrough treatments that try and solve and cure cancer over time. I never imagined being 32 years old diagnosed with an aggressive breast cancer uh, with a two-year-old. My inspiration is my daughter, my husband, my family, free color. Sarah's strength and um, positive outlook is just inspirational to my wife, myself, all of our employees, all of our friends, and people she's never even met. She's taken it upon herself to uh, be very public and trying to help other young women, other young people uh, listen to their body, uh, advocate for themselves, and you know, there's always silver linings.